welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video i'll talk about the work which i did in my research part second year i hope that you already have watched my previous video where i already did a discussion that whenever we we are pursuing the masters in the iits so the complete second year is on the thesis work and today i am pleased to inform you all that whatever work i did uh, in my masters that thesis work is published in one of the conference and uh, as you can see that the, the, that the publisher is ieee and this is published in embc conference in glasgow uk right so today i'll talk about a little bit just of that and i will highly recommend every uh, to everyone that please go and see the re research paper might be you find it pretty useful in your research who never knows right so what i did in this particular research paper or in my thesis work let me talk about a little bit of that so basically my research started in i would say 1.5 years back at that point of time if you remember corona was at peak right so everyone was struggling with this covid things and uh, at that point of time it was the topic or the case study was that whenever someone is suffering from corona so doctors talk talk to me and they told me that priya whenever someone is suffering from corona so in their lung they will have something called as ground glass and consolidation now what is that i will show you with the image also so there is a some white hazy area which is something which we called as ground glass and when there is bulky of that white area is something which we called as a consolidation so you can say in a layman term that those were the infectious portion inside the lung and those things will happen whenever person suffered from the corona now for sure until this point of time you will be able to get an idea that this particular work can't be done alone it requires a lot of guidance which is done given by my my guide swami jana sir and one of my teammate i would say abhishar sina apart from that it requires a collaboration with the doctors because whenever you are doing any project in a healthcare domain you can't take any risk and you are not a doctor you don't have any knowledge of how ct scans look like what's the infectious portion is your model is giving the correct accuracy or not and you you can't even rely on that term called accuracy or the dice score that we have in the healthcare domain you have to take help from the doctors you have to first of all do the confirmation that whatever work your model is doing is that fine or not then only you will be able to you know share your weights or the uh, deployment thing then only you will be able to do that right so here what happened the major task is that okay you will be given the ct scans first of all is your model will be able to detect that infectious portion or not believe me we have tried a lot of models and out of those models initially unit plus plus gave the good results right now whenever we are talking about image segmentation task in healthcare domain everyone knows about the cnn based models which is either unit unit plus plus and many more different kinds of architectures also we have but there exists something which we called as non cnn based model called as capsule networks so here comes a very you know interesting point of research in the, in my i would say thesis work so i want to analyze that is the secaps is also having a equal capability by the way secaps is something which i am referring for the capsule networks architecture so is secaps is having a equal capability just like the cnn based model unit plus plus and that's where that question hit my mind and i started doing more research over that as i told you that whenever we are doing a research work it requires a lot of motivation because one thing is in research you will face a lot of failures right i remember my time where 3 months 4 months no result is coming with the different kind of models which i was applying and i felt very demotivated demotivated at that point of time and i used to talk to my professor and he used to say that it it happens with everyone it's okay it's completely fine and that's where i used to realize that it's not that much easy task it requires a lot of you know motivation you should have a good peer group you should have a good guidance from the mentors then only you will be able to pursue that 
okay after that what we have did is that we try to do the same task with the cnn and the non cnn based models then only obviously we can do the comparison now what's the advantage of using the non cnn based models one thing is that is that model is having a equal amount of capabilities or not if yes then we can use that in future task okay apart from that secaps are taking a lower resources as comparable to the unit plus plus which requires a lot of high parameters for the training purpose that's the another advantage that we do have so here if you will observe in this research paper uh, right if you will observe in this pdf so let me try to show you so once you will be able to go that so here i can just show you with this pdf right so, so this is the complete research paper that i have here if you will observe in this particular case this is something in the image which i am saying as a ground glass fine this small white area inside the lung portion and when this white area is very much bulky this is, th this is something which i am saying as a consolidation now here if you will observe we are trying to see that where the major difference between the cnn and non cnn ba based models lies so one thing is very much important to understand that whenever we are talking about cnn based models if someone knows it tries to use the concept of max pooling to extract the higher pixel value features right now obviously there comes a loss of information at that point of time but in sec caps in capsule networks there is no as such concept of max pooling which is coming into picture they they have a different concept of dynamic routing with the help of which they will be able to grab the important information out of the given image so i will not go in that much depth if you want that uh, in a very much detail do let me know in the comment section and i will for sure try to create one separate video for the same but as of now i just want to give you gist of that and then you can go to the pdf and just try to explore on your own also that what uh, i want to convey here after that you can see these are the important results so here if you will observe we try to do the experiment simply taking a ct scan finding out the region of interest and after that here if you will observe this is something which i am referring as the infectious portion here this yellow region is something which is the infectious portion inside the lung and here this is the results which is given by the unit plus plus model and this is the result which is given by the sec caps model after seeing the images we as a engineer what we are observing that somehow they are giving the similar kind of results with very minute differences for example here if you will observe in unit plus plus i am getting somewhere lesser amount of infectious area as comparable to the sec caps can i say yes but when we move towards the stats part of the same see only images are good for the subjective inference which obviously is given by the doctors that you collaborated with but you need some numbers to make sure that whether your results are good or not now what usually happened is that doctors gave me the number called a ct severity score which basically suggests to me that how severe the patient is if the ct severity score is very high then it indicates that doctor that the patient is highly severe so what i did is that or what we as a team decided to focus on that we try to calculate that infectious score number how we can cal calculate it's very easy right once we will be able to know what is the volume of the infectious portion inside the lung divided by the complete volume of the lung we will be able to get that that particular ratio very easily now whatever be, the, be that number which we are calculating here we try to find out the correlation coefficient of that number with respect to the ct severity score which is given by the doctors and if suppose consider that the correlation coefficient between these two numbers is high what does that indicating somehow your model is performing good and that's where the good thing happened so we got almost you know 70% uh, ct severity score and uh, infectious score correlation coefficient which was pretty good right and then we will be able to get an idea that somehow we are approaching towards the results right so here if you will observe 
we will be able to get somehow the similar kind of results with the CNN and non-CNN based model. So one thing will be clear at that point of time. That is that somehow many researchers or many people used to apply the CNN based models in healthcare domain. But it's equally worth it to apply the SecCAPS kind of models as well. But apart from that, what we have observed when we calculated the convex hull of Maxima, we observed that both of these models are working differently in different kind of scenarios. One model is working best when we are in a lower FPR regime and that is unit plus plus, whereas SecCAPS is working best when we are moving towards the high FPR regime. And there comes a very interesting part means that different kind of scenarios we can use different kind of tools that is unit plus plus and say caps to solve the problem and that is where it can help the doctors a lot means when they have a ground glass kind of a portion they can go for unit plus plus and when they have a consolidation kind of a CT scan they can go for a sec caps for the image segmentation task because they are working different in different scenarios they are work one one tool is working best in one, one scenario and another another tool is working best in another case of scenarios and let me tell you whatever things i am saying to you might be few people will be able to understand few might not be able to understand it's completely fine it's just that you need to go uh, one time with this research paper and whatsoever new things you are getting here you can just try to explore that on your own that is where you know exploration and research part is coming into picture but what i can tell you here whatsoever work i did i am not aware about any of the healthcare domain part before uh, moving into into that particular project i am not aware about what this cnn and non cnn based models are whether it be unit unit plus plus or whether it be capsule networks or whether it be those list of failures which i applied as a model and i didn't get the results but what I want to say here in a nutshell, I just want to say that whenever you are moving into this kind of a domain in a data science, specifically in healthcare domain, I am saying, so you need to do a lot of research. You need to, uh, you know, sit on the Google and see how basically things are working. And then you need to do hit and trial to apply a lot of models and see how the performance of these models will be there. Moreover, Please make sure that you can't take any sort of risk. Whenever in doubt, ask. That's the ultimate thing that I want to say. And I used to say that whenever we are into this data science domain, we have to upgrade our, ourselves on a daily basis. A lot of research is going on. A lot of research papers are going to be published. And it sometimes feels frustrated, but this is, this is what challenge is, right? That's why this field is interesting also. So I would like to end this particular session with this particular note. Keep upgrading yourself, keep upskilling yourself. And if you have any sort of queries after reading out this research paper, do let me know in the comment section. And I'll, I'll for sure try to read all the comments and answer all your queries. With this, happy learning to all. Bye-bye, everyone. Do share and uh, this video with your all your friends. Might be it will be helpful for them, uh, those who are doing specifically this kind of projects and are facing the difficulties. And uh, see you soon in my ne next up upcoming video. Till then, bye-bye. Happy learning to all.